Now we are going to show you the anatomy of inguinal canal. This is the spermatic cord coming from the testes and you can see the external oblique aponeurosis which is in my hand at this time. This is the external oblique aponeurosis and you can see the superficial inguinal ring through which the spermatic cord is coming out. Now I will remove the external oblique aponeurosis and you can easily see the spermatic cord inside. This is the spermatic cord. This thing. Okay? This is the external oblique aponeurosis and this is the internal oblique muscle. This one which is jumping over the spermatic cord. So in this region it will lie anterior it will form the anterior boundary of the inguinal canal along with the external oblique aponeurosis. So this is the anterior boundary and when it jumps over the spermatic cord it comes behind the spermatic cord. Now it is forming the posterior boundary of uh, inguinal canal and to this transversus abdominis is attached which we cannot separate here. So this thing is now called the conjoint tendon and behind this you can see the fascia transversalis this is the fascia transversalis in which you can easily see the deep inguinal ring. This is the fascia transversalis and you can see the deep inguinal ring in it and this is the spermatic cord which is passing through the deep inguinal ring.